good evening as part of the essential learning i am planning to do some of the videos on uh, linux administration part okay the basic reason behind the starting with the linux is whenever whenever i start with the azure or aws teaching i've seen a few people that are frequently asking you questions on how you can connect to the linux machine how you administer the linux machine and give me some basic commands and stuff so i thought of doing some of these basic videos and upload into the youtube that will help everyone to understand the essential learning before they start pursuing their career into public cloud or devops or any other advanced skill sets so part of that i'm planning to do some of the videos on uh, Linux administration part. I'll not I'll not cover upon all the administration things and all. We'll try to understand at least the basic minimum things as to be understand before we start learning something on public cloud. Okay. So part of that, what I will do is I'll try to install and configure one Linux server on top of my lab machine, and I will use I will use Ubuntu as a base system to install the operating system on a ESXi host. Okay, I can see they recently launched the 2004 20, LTS is the latest one and I can see the same thing is not available on AWS or Azure. Okay, I'll log in and uh, show you uh, if, if, there, if the same uh, operating system flavor is available on uh, public cloud or not. I believe it's 18 still on the public cloud. I cannot, I, I cannot see any 20 or 20 or 4 and other stuff. But yeah, what we will do is we'll try to install and configure in today's session quickly. And later on we'll see what is the user management. Let me let me go to administration part yeah so we'll follow the same structure here what they have mentioned in the clearly it is easy for me to and for you guys as well to plan and uh, learn yourself okay i'll go ahead and start with the installation part today and we'll, we'll concentrate some of the videos on uh, storage administration how you allocate the storage and what is lvm how you can allocate the remote storage to the linux machine and stuff and we'll try to understand the network topology within the linux administration area okay and the security and stuff bare minimum and virtualization i will not touch upon because we have a lot of videos on youtube uh, with the virtualization what is virtualization what is hypervisor what is vmware how to install configure manage administrator everything we are around where around 40 45 videos are there and you guys can refer that and containers when it comes to containers what we'll do is at the end we'll try to install the docker on top of the same ubuntu and see how we can create the container and how you will run the containers as a basic administration level okay and just just consider as an introductory for the microservices and stuff and also we'll see a lot of services that offer as part of the linux administration you can see a lot of services here but we'll pick up few a few of them and try to test it in the lab and ha if time permits or and people are requesting then we'll try to make some of the videos on ubuntu high availability as well okay the tools and stuff backups and a lot of other stuff is there okay so let's start with the let's start with it and have some fun okay so what i need first class install and configure linux which is okay So I already have a base ESXi. Okay, how to set up this? Uh, 192, 1.51. I have a couple of videos on uh, same channel. You guys can refer how to set up your own your own home lab. I mean to say, and start practicing by yourself. Now, inside this, I will create one virtual machine. And I will install Linux on top of it. Okay, let's start. Go to my ESXi, which is running on 6.5. Okay, and let me create a virtual machine very quickly. Come on. Yeah, create a virtual machine. So give the name as Ubuntu demo and select the operating system guest OS version 64 bit next 
I'll place this on SSD. Okay. I need uh, two CPU. Let me let me go back and see what the installation requirements that they have mentioned. 2004 edition provides a common minimalist based variety of server application such as file, print, web hosting, email hosting, etc. Okay, and it supports CPU different CPU architectures. That's fine. The standard server requires one CPU and 500 MB of RAM and minimum 3 GB of operating system. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll I'll pick the configuration as such: two CPU, 4 GB RAM, and 10 GB SDD for this and the ip address will be 192.168 in line with the base esxa i'll put it on 152 okay let's see how we can do that so two cpu and the memory 4 gig and hard drive 10 gb i'll select thin provisioning okay and vm network I know I have a lot of VLANs, but I'll put this in uh, VLAN, base VLAN, VM network, and go to SATA, ISO. Let's see if you have Ubuntu 20 Live server. Yeah, this. Next. And let me go to VM options and boot options. Power on boot delay. I'll put something. Next. Finish. Then. Machine has been created. Let me go and start. I'm going to take a remote console of it because it's easy for me to manage, otherwise, the graphics won't work properly on my web console. It is having a lot of bugs in 6.5. I hope 7.0 or 6.7 has improved graphics on the ESXi host. Okay, started booting. No errors. It'll take some time to install and configure. Okay, bear with me at least 15 minutes. We will try to finish it off. Yeah, so select the language, self explanatory, follow the steps English and Version 20.05 of the installer is now available. Now 20.03 is currently running. Continue without updating. I'm fine with the what the version I have downloaded. It's okay. And keyboard version. The layout is US. It's fine. Okay, done. And Ethernet. Let me go and set the manual ips okay what is the subnet 192 168 1.0 and what is the ip address that we are get, we're looking at 1.152 right and the gateway and the my bad gateway 192 168 1.100 no need to give the subnet subnet is already given name servers no domains save okay save done there's no proxy if you have alternate mirroring it's okay leave about so you want to install the install format and install the entire disk yes no lvms as of now we'll do it on the yeah we'll do it on the 
additional storage for the users okay so give the name ubuntu demo and the password okay let me see yeah done yes i need an open ssh to be installed and keys will do it later on and if you look at a lot of these services are offering i'm not going to install any of those features and stuff we'll go with the base operating system install and let's see how much time it will take it is installing the kernel if you want to see the logs okay you're gonna take some time let me minimize this and pause the recording okay if you look at the installation is complete and let me close this message and see it is asking you to reboot enter to reboot yeah and fail to unmount the cd so what i will do i'll go ahead on the back end esxi host bear with the graphics Come on. These graphics are really irritating on the 6.5. See, it's working now. Edit. So, what we can do the base operating system CD doesn't require any more select the host device and connect save that's it done and if you go back to the console enter so unless until you don't remove it it won't ask it won't proceed under reboot okay so let's see okay done so quick right so what i will do i'll log in 192.168.1.152 right on let's see here you go very quick right so if you can go to root prompt okay if config okay net tools are not there you can yeah we will see the network administration and the story administration the rest of this stuff how much time it took around 10 minutes hardly for the installation and configuration in the next session in the next session we will try to configure storage and we'll try to